Tongo continues his testimony in the murder trial of British businessman Shreen Diwani in the Western Cape High Court. Tongo is serving 18 years in jail for his role in the murder of honeymoon bride Annie Diwani in November 2010. Our reporter Vanessa Puna is following that trial and she joins us now from the steps of the Western Cape High Court. Good afternoon Vanessa and thank you for your time on the PM News Desk. Good afternoon to you too. Well, defence advocate Francois Fanzel really getting his teeth into uh, Tongo today. Uh, how did Tongo hold up under that cross-examination? Yes, today uh, did see Defence Counsel for Shri and Devani once again tucking into uh, the testimony as well as evidence of convicted murderer Zola Tongo. Uh, Mr. Francois Fansel, advocate that is, uh, used a timeline uh, made up for, from CCTV footage as well as uh, communication between Shri and Devani as well as Zola Tongo and others uh, to highlight what he calls inconsistencies in what Zola Tongo says in his plea agreement, uh, in his evidence in chief, and then also the answers that is given. Uh, in uh, during cross-examination. One of the instances, for example, is uh, whether he knew how much Monde Mbulombo, that's the uh, middleman, uh, would be paid uh, for his role in uh, the murder or, or the murder plot. Now, Mr. Tongo insists that he did not know any details about exactly how much money uh, Mr. Um, Monde Mbulombo would be receiving. And then uh, Advocate Francois Fonsel highlighted to him but that in his plea agreement, he, uh, he stated that Monde was supposed to receive 5,000 Rand and that it was agreed that then the hijackers would only receive 10,000 Rand for their efforts. And also very interesting, Ali, uh, that a uh, short while ago, just before court proceedings adjourned here for the week uh, at the Western Cape High Court, uh, the judge, Jeanette Reverso, called both counsel into chambers and we believe that she uh, warned counsel uh, to that this matter may even have to sit on Fridays and if they don't speed things along, it could not see the end date by the 12th of December as what was initially put down. Earlier today also, I must say, that uh, Shri Devani's uh, mental state was once again thrust into the spotlight. You would know that his mental state was the reason for a very lengthy extradition process. And now this morning, or the this afternoon, rather, Advocate Van Sale uh, mentioned to the court uh, that this morning when Mr. Devani uh, was transported to court, uh, photographers apparently jostled around uh, the vehicle trying to get uh, footage of him and banged allegedly on the windows of that car. And this, he says, caused Mr. Devani to have a panic attack. Uh, the judge was very strict addressing the media, warning everybody uh, that uh, we should act with dignity uh, and not impose on Mr. Devani so that justice and swift justice can happen in this case. So it is the end of week four year of the Shri Devani murder trial in the Western Cape High Court uh, and we expect a cross-examination of Zola Tongo to continue again next Monday. Uh, he'll then spend a third day facing grueling cross-examination from advocate Francois Fancel. There's ABC's Vanessa Puna coming to us from the steps of the Western Cape High Court. Thank you for your time on the PM News Desk. Well,